Hi everyone, it's Bethany from Madeline Jean Antiques and Restoration. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna teach you about liming wax, how to apply it over a painted surface. If you've been following me for a while now, you may have seen my other video on liming wax where I teach you how to apply it to bare wood. I'll include that link below if you haven't caught that video already. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for joining me. If you've already subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. Thank you for joining me again. If you guys are new, please hit the subscribe button. It's in the lower, I always put it over here. It's the lower right hand corner. I always have to point the opposite way. So it's in the lower right hand corner. It's a red button. Click on that and then you will be notified every time I upload a new video. If you're new, here's a little bit about myself. I am a single mom raising two kids up in New Hampshire. I am a native from the Midwest. I grew up in Minnesota, and I've been living here in New Hampshire, gosh, close to 16 years now. I run a very, very itsy bitsy small business um, out of my house that I rent. I refinish antique and vintage furniture. I do a lot of custom orders, but I also do a lot of just furniture flips, things that I find on the side of the road. Yes, I find things on the side of the road. Um, I also find things at the Salvation Army or the Goodwill, and then I flip those items for profit. So that's what I do, and I decided to bring some of my knowledge within the business. I am always learning. That's something that I love about this line of work. I'm continually learning new skills. For instance, I not too long ago, I learned how to work a miter saw. So that's been a lot of fun being able to cut wood to size now. May not seem like a big deal to some people, but it is to me. I am completely self-taught. I've been doing this for about eight years. So I decided to start a YouTube channel to help other people who are maybe just hobbyists who are just dabbling into the world of antique furniture restoration, or those of you who are wanting to start a little side hustle and you don't know where to start or you have questions because there's so much to learn regarding furniture restoration. There's so many techniques, there's so many products. So done blabbering about my little intro there. So let's get to liming wax. I order mine off of Amazon. Um, I can't find it at Lowe's. I can't find it at Home Depot. So Amazon is where I find mine. It looks like this. It's in a green tin. And in my other video, I showed you how to apply it to, I think it was an antique wash basin that I just sanded and then I applied it to that. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to apply it to um, a weathered look that I've done on the side of this antique dresser. This antique dresser is about 130 years old. It is solid oak. Um, and then I have painted the, si the sides a weathered look. So I've done like white paint, some grays, and then I distressed it. But I still wanna add a little more white into the grain. So that's where the liming wax comes in. It is going to settle into the wood grain, make that wood grain pop, but it's also gonna provide protection on the outside of it as well. So let's get started. I'll show you how I apply the lime wax and I'll show you the results you can get and they are quite gorgeous. I love this product and you're soon gonna find out why. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to apply liming wax to your painted surfaces. So the best type of woods to apply liming wax to are woods that have a lot of wood grain where you can get the liming wax into that wood grain and so it pops. Liming wax will give you a beautiful, beautiful weathered look, okay? So the colors I have here are whites and grays. I'm gonna use a cheap chip brush. What I love about a chip brush, it really gets into the wood grain and I get kind of aggressive the way I apply it. I kind of like stamp it in there I really want it to get as far into the wood grain as possible. So I kind of do this aggressive back and forth. I'm painting, it's kind of like, yeah, I'm painting the dresser again really, really white. Can you see how white it's getting here? That's okay, you guys, because I'm going to be wiping the majority of this liming wax off. But I really want to make sure it gets into the wood grain of this oak dresser. So as you can see, I'm going back and forth really, really fast and aggressive. You do have a lot of open room to work with liming wax. It stays wet for a while. 
So what I do here on the crevices of the side of my dresser here, I'm gonna really put it in there because I really kind of wanted to create a shadow effect. So I really want it to get stuck in that crevice. I'm gonna get it stuck in these crevices too here around the perimeter of the inside right here where this goes in. I really want that liming wax to settle in there. So it really creates a nice shadow effect. When I say shadow effect, I mean like around the box, you're gonna see it be a lot whiter than the inside of this box here. So I just really work it in there and then I work in small sections. So I'm just gonna get this side done here and then I'll show you how I wipe it off. Normally I don't dip into my can but I'm almost out of my liming wax. I actually just ordered some tonight. I should talk about cost. How much was this? Oh yeah, I just ordered some. I believe this is an eight ounce tin. Yes, an eight ounce, eight ounce tin is about $21. It does go a long way. So right there, can you see how white, yeah, you can see it there in the video, how white this area is getting. That's exactly what I want. It's kind of like dark wax. When you apply dark wax, you kind of freak out how much it changes your piece of furniture. And then you wipe it off and you're like, oh, okay, good. It didn't ruin it. So liming wax is kind of like that. You think, oh my gosh, I'm totally ruining my piece. You're not. And it does have a little bit of an odor to it. I like the odor. It's kind of like a Sharpie. I'm kind of a sniffer. I mean that in a good way. My daughter's the same way. We like the smell of like gasoline and Sharpies. We're weird like that. Um, to buff off the liming wax, I like to use these doohickeys. I get these off of Amazon as well. They're like these little foam buffers and they work fabulous for this. So, and they work so fast. That's why I prefer them over a rag. I can cover a lot of area in quick time. And I love how this grain is popping already. See how fast this is with removing? I'll put a link below as well where you guys can order these foam little buffers. And I'm going to go in here like so. And look how fast that works. You just apply it and then buff. And I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to bring my camera down here where you can see where I'm getting this nice white line in the crevice. This is exactly what I want. It's creating like this shadow effect. It's almost got like a frosted look to it. It's really pretty. So I'm going to continue to apply the liming wax, but I'm going to bring the camera really close down so you can see what it's actually doing to the wood grain. Okay. Okay, here's a close up, you guys. Can you see, I'm gonna point it out, see that shadow effect I'm talking about? How it gets really white there along the crevices. This is exactly what I wanna have happen. I'm gonna to continue to apply my liming wax so you guys can see really close up what's happening here to the wood grain. I just love how it settles in that wood grain and it just gives you a really nice white finish and you'll find some of your little chip brushes you know the bristles that's the only bad thing about your chip brushes that I'm getting like these little loose bristles that come off it's okay just tell them to shoe hopefully they will okay so right here I'm going to show you how I'm going to buff that right now and look at all that gorgeous white wood grain pop I love it Looks so pretty. Up here in New England, this look is really popular. People really like that weathered, rustic look. So I anticipate this dresser, hopefully, will be going to a good home quickly. And here we go again. I'm gonna really get my brush into those crevices along the lines there. And like I said, this um, liming wax has like the consistency of Noxzema. That's what it reminds me of. It's creamy and it kind of has that smell. If you ever remember using Noxzema, I don't even know. Do they still sell that stuff? I don't even know. I remember I used it 
a little bit when I was a teenager. Didn't really do much for me. I think I just like the way it smelled. Okay. Oop. And you can see here, you guys, I work in really small sections. Okay. I'm gonna wipe that off now. My little buffer. And look at that. Gives a really pretty frosted look. This is probably like my favorite look to create is a weathered whitewash look. A lot of people really like this look lately. So, so, so pretty. All right, I'm gonna do two more sections for you guys. I'm gonna do this one right here. And I'm gonna do this one along here. Now, when you are done with buffing it off, I then go around with a clean rag and really buff it to a nice shine. With liming wax, your final sheen look to it will be more of like a satin sheen. So depending on what look you want, this does not give off a matte look, if that's what you're looking for, nor does it give like a super glossy look. Just gives a nice, nice little bit of shine. So I would probably say it's more of a satin sheen. So when I'm going over with this yellow circular foam applicator, what that's doing, it's basically just kind of wiping off the excess liming wax. What the rag is gonna do is actually buff it. So you get that satin sheen. Okay, did those last two sections. You can see this goes really quick, you guys. This is basically foolproof. Can't get much easier than this. There we go. And then there's my last section there. You guys, I'm already halfway done with this side of this dresser. It goes so fast. Another reason why I love working with liming wax. It is easy to apply and fairly quick. Okay, you guys can see right here from my buffer pad, look how much is getting wiped off. Okay, so now I'm gonna go with my clean rag, what I've been using today. And I'm going to now go across and buff. And I'm gonna push even harder and I'm gonna get that nice satin sheen coming out. It's really pretty. And this will provide the protection that the stressor needs on the sides. So pretty. And you'll know where it's not buffed and where it's not because your rag will kind of skip on a spot. That'll tell you that it needs to be buffed a little more it should, you'll know when you get it buffed because it'll go super smooth. And then you'll run into a spot and go, oh, it's sticking a little bit. And you know you have to buff it a little more in that area. So hopefully my camera is picking up the satin sheen. And you really kind of have to put a little elbow grease into it. guys a close-up video of the wood grain after here after I buffed it okay all right I think that half of it is done voila easy peasy lemon squeezy there you be okay guys here is the half of the dresser that I just did with the liming wax. Can you see the sheen? You can see it with my ring light, the reflection going off it. You can see those shadow areas with the liming wax there. Then I wanna show you what the other half looks like without the liming wax. Can you see how it's duller? I mean, it's still pretty, but you can just tell it's just missing something. 
And then you can see here with the liming wax, it just adds that extra level of pizzazz that you need. Hey everyone, that concludes my video on liming wax. This is little Biscuit Boo Bear. He's our little doggy. And he always comes in my YouTube videos at the very end. Don't you, buddy? Don't you, boo-boos? He just wants some love. And he's saying hi. Um, you guys, I also finished up this antique... I don't know what this is. I don't know what type of piece of furniture this is. I don't know if it's an old washstand. I don't know if it's a smaller buffet. But I just finished up liming wax this as well. I did it on the doors. So you can see that white shadow effect taking place. And it got into the wood grain here as well. And I really like how that looks. So I just wanted to show you that project as well as the dresser that I'm working on behind me. So thank you so much for joining me for this tutorial on liming wax. If you guys have any questions, please drop them in the comment section. I am happy to answer any questions. Um, I try to answer any questions that you may have um, as quickly as possible. I know some people have reached out to me um, on my Facebook business page. You can find me on Facebook at Madeline Jean Antiques and Restoration right there. You can also find me on Instagram. I'm at right here Bethany.Yousef. I put all my before and after shots of all the projects that I'm working on on either Facebook or Instagram So go check them out. You can go check out both these projects, which I probably will be photographing tomorrow So I'll have those up. So go take a look at how the liming wax turned out on both these pieces Till next time you guys. I'll see you later. Bye-bye